First at four, a hate crime trial continues in South County where a white woman is accused of shouting racial slurs at a black family last summer. That family telling the court left them terrified. Our Anita Buffoni is live outside the courthouse in Wakefield with testimony from day two of that trial. Well, Kim and Brian, the daughter of the East Providence family was cross-examined by the defense in day two of the trial. The 18-year-old recounted what she and members of her family experienced when the defendant allegedly yelled racially charged words at them. Now, this is a defendant in this case. This is 34-year-old Christine Longo from South Kingstown, seen here in court this morning. She was emotionless today, silently writing notes while her defense attorney and the prosecution questioned the witness. Long Longo is charged with disorderly conduct, and in a rare move, the attorney general's office added the hate crime enhancement months after her arrest. The daughter explained to the court when the family went to a popular Narragansett restaurant for lunch last summer, Longo came out of the restaurant allegedly saying racially charged phrases to the black family waiting near the door after allegedly saying similar things to their father inside the establishment. The defense pointing out a change in the daughter's statements from yesterday. This is the daughter's accounts. She got out the restaurant, looked back, and yelled, you black people need to go back to where you came from. And then my sister looked at her and said, excuse me, why would you say that? And that's when she looked at my sister and said, yes, you heard me. You black people need to go back to where you came from. So yesterday you said you can't identify her. But, and she took her mask off, and you still said you couldn't identify her. Oh, but not now today you're saying you can identify her? Yes, without her mask. Now, that daughter spent maybe a half hour on the stand today. The defense attorney wouldn't say whether Longo would be testifying in her own defense. Guys. And Anita, what can you tell us about any other witnesses on the stand today? Yes, there was two witnesses in addition today, one of them being a professor of history and Africana studies at Brown University. She spoke to the historical context of what these words mean and how offensive they were, and she called them, quote, fighting words. I'll have more on her testimony coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock. A hate crime trial continued today in South County. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Christine Longo is accused of shouting at a black family at a local restaurant last summer, and today the court heard from an expert witness on the words used. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni is live in South Kingstown with what that witness explained about the meaning of those terms and why they're quote fighting words. Anita. Mike and Shannon, the expert that testified today is a expert uh, professor of history and Africana studies at Brown University, and she was called by the prosecution to discuss the histor historical context of the words the defendant is being accused of saying. Those words the defendant uh, allegedly said were, go back to where you came from, to that East Providence family. Now, this is video of that expert witness, Dr. Francois Hamlin. She took to the stand for about an hour today. During that time, the defense tried to discredit the need for her to testify in this case. But the judge said he found it to be helpful insight for when he determines the verdict in this bench trial. Now, the judge giving a very fine scope on what she could testify to since she was not there at the time. The defendant, 34 year old Christine Longo, allegedly berated the black East Providence family at a popular Narragansett restaurant. The defense objecting several times to her testimony whenever specifics were brought up about what took place at that restaurant last summer. Or does that phrase appear in American history as a, a positive or a compliment? It's never a compliment. It's always an insult. It's always a way to divide and to feel superior over. It's a, it's a very racialized phrase, as generic and you know as it sounds. This colorblind language has now been used to mask very hurtful and dangerous behavior. She doesn't know what happened inside the vestibule there, Judge. She, again, is listening to and reading a one-sided police report. And that's the defense attorney you just heard. Another witness brought up to testify was the officer who responded to the scene. Now, the trial has ended for the day. It will resume on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Live in South Kingstown, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.